I saw I saw this clip as well. This is I think this is the, this might be the nastiest one. It's my Best. Steph Curry. Steph, Curry's Steph Curry is answer. my answer. Steph okay. Curry is my answer. Okay. Because I, I just think that, that the problem ahead, with sorry, Steph go, Curry go, go, go. and I'll let JJ after me. The problem with sure. Steph Curry is I think sometimes people have tried to be him and it's hurt the league. Last year it was the worst game seven I have ever seen. And I've been watching basketball that not level which, for a while. Which game, which game seven? Milwaukee and the Celtics. Milwaukee okay. was three wow. for 34 from three. I understand what he's saying. Did Curry ruin the league? Yes, you can say that. But people would also say like that Jordan ruined the league and Shaq ruined the league. When you're such a dominant figure, teams are going to um, teams are going to duplicate what you're doing. The success that you had, they're going to try to duplicate that. But uh, and and also last year's game seven was bad. The worst that you've ever seen is probably hyperbolic. He's talking about how much games he's watched. He's I think he's being a bit again hyperbolic there because that game seven against the uh, Houston Rockets versus Golden State Warriors, where Houston couldn't buy a three, that was pretty bad in my opinion. The worst game seven I've ever seen. Uh, the Houston Rockets versus the Dallas Mavericks. I believe that was oh five or oh six where. Tracy McGrady and the rest of the Houston Rockets just didn't show up, and they got blown out by like forty points or something like that. It was a bad, it was a bad game seven, bad game seven. But I, I understand what he's trying to say. Um, a bit, you know, hyperbolic, but I understand what he's trying to say. So as a result of that, with the accent of just shooting threes, you can make an argument that the game is not as balanced and as fun because that's all people do is shoot threes. Again. To be fair, the influence of Curry has definitely swung the pendulum heavily into three-point shooting. Um, again, I agree that it's become a bit excessive. And so if you want to argue that Curry has ruined the game, hey, hey, hey. However, however, bro, the game of basketball has never been balanced. It's never been balanced. It's never been a balanced game. Maybe outside of the 2000s when they changed the rules, but it's never been balanced. It's always been heavily interior and post play. That's how the game of basketball has been played for an overwhelming majority of its uh, of its existence. So much so that the game was so poorly. It was it was such a bad um, visual experience that the NBA created a committee to change the rules so they can open the game up way better because the game of basketball in the NBA was being played poorly. That's how bad the game of basketball was being played in the late 90s, entering the 2000s. They had to change all the rules up. So to say that this is the worst the game has ever looked or he, it's just so bad watching it because it's not as balanced as it once was, no, you're lying, nigga. It's, all, it's never been balanced, and it's looked much worse in our other years. Over time, over the course of an 82-game schedule, over the course, over the course of 20-some playoff games, the offenses are going to be more efficient. That's just math. You're going to have outliers like Houston Rockets versus Golden State Warriors where they missed 27 straight threes or whatever it was, and you're going to have outliers like Game 7 last year with the Bucks and Celtics. But you know what? The Celtics won that game because Grant Williams, not a three-point shooter coming into the league, worked on his three-point shot, developed that, and won them a game seven because he knocked down seven trades. I am old school, as we all know, J.J., perfect. But, you know, Bird shot plenty of threes, and they had Parrish and McKay. What? What? <laughs> what? You no, know, Bird shot, J.J., perfect. But, you know, Bird shot plenty of threes. And they had Parrish and McHale. Bird shot plenty of threes. The best. And Bird is one of the great shooters in the history of the sport. Not even close. Bird, Bird. Yeah, he's he's a great shooter. Bird did not shoot plenty of threes. He did not shoot plenty of threes. No, he did not. 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 Bird shot threes. He never was a volume shooter from three. No, I know that, but he was a great three point shooter. He was not not good. He was great. He's one of the top five three point shooters of all time. What the fuck are we talking about right now? What are we talking about? What are we talking about? What a what what are we talking about right now, bro? Bird is not one of the top five three point shooters. <laughs> Just quickly, Curry, Reggie Miller, Ray Allen, Stojakovic, Kyle Korver, Damian Lillard, Klay Thompson, Kevin Durant. All these players are better. Uh, um, Glenn Rice, Mitch Richmond. All those players are better three point shooters than. What the fuck? Did you see the three-point shooting that he put on, those clinics oh. that he put on at the All-Star game? Again. There's no way this nigga reference. There's just, there's no way this nigga reference All-Star 
There's no way this nigga referenced a three-point shooting contest in contrast to niggas who are shooting from 30 in, in real games with defense. There's just no way. There's no way you could ever argue Larry Bird is a top three three-point shooter of all time. You just, you, you can't make that argument. You're, look, you're you facing an he's one of the He's you're one basing of the best it on ever. math in a time of when he played. I'm basing it on just shooting. Even if you were to adjust Bird and put him in today's league, like more than likely, he still would not be making threes at a, an alarming rate more than Reggie Miller, Ray Allen, or Curry. You can put him in the 90s, or 2000s, and the 2010s. He would not be a better three-point shooter than Reggie, Ray, or Curry. He just wouldn't be. I'm not saying Larry Bird is not one of the greatest shooters ever. He's not one of the greatest three-point shooters ever. Absolutely. You cannot make that argument. Yes, I'm is. sorry. Because the 80s was so much different. There's physicality, the way they guarded people. Uh, you dude, couldn't you can dug we, it. Can we get From three, nigga. From three. From three. From three. The way that these niggas act as if, like, niggas was, like, it was physical ball at every aspect of on the floor. There was not that much physical play from three because niggas weren't even defending out there from three routinely enough for it to be physical from three in the 80s. They would get quality looks. Players defend way more aggressively now from three than they did in the 80s because back then they weren't picking people up above the three-point line like they do now. Oh, you and I are going to sit down. You and I are going to sit down. We're going to sit there, and we're going to watch down. finals games from the 1980s. Well, Jay, here's and, and the and we're gonna, I'm going to show well, you I saw what the physical games, basketball is versus you physical Matt's. fouling. You, you're watching them on YouTube. I saw the games. I watched the games oh, at the time. God. To the old heads who run this logic, I watched the games. I was there at the time. I watched them. I don't give a fuck, bro. I don't care. And guess what? Nobody should care. No one should care if you watch the games at the time. You know why? Because I refuse to believe that you can give me an accurate depiction of something that occurred 40 years ago. 4D. 4-0. I don't care, bro. Mad Dog Russo has given us poor description of things that happened a year ago, two years ago. It, like, something that happened within like the last offseason run. He's given us poor descriptions of things that have happened recently. I, and you want me to believe that he remembers vividly something that happened 40 years ago? If I asked you, hey, explain to me in, in some form of detail what happened on your 22nd birthday and you're 70 years old, you're not going to be able to do that because that was nearly 50 years ago. You were there. It, had, it was some form of event because it was your birthday. Birthday, but you don't remember every single last birthday that you had in any great detail 50, 60, 70 years ago because it happened 50, 60, 70 years ago. When I watched Steph Curry off the ball in a playoff game, oh, he's great. getting grabbed and held by Marcus Smart, they're attached to him at all times. Right. Then when I watched Larry Bird come off a pin down and no one's within five feet of him and they're shooting the gap, you're telling me that's more physical? Than, than Steph Curry being grabbed and held for 48 minutes. But he, he doesn't, they don't, they don't call those fouls on Marcus Smart when he, hold, when he holds them and he holds them on those pick and roll. Of course they call the fouls. They protect Curry all the time. <sighs> He's at the free throw line. He lives at the free throw line. What y'all want out of me, bro? I can't, I, I, this, this is like, that's the worst take I've ever heard in my life, bro. That's the worst take I've ever heard in my life. Curry lives at the free throw line. What do y'all, like, what the fuck do they, what do y'all want? It, that's, ayo, no cap, that might be the worst take I've ever heard in my entire life, bro. He literally attempts the fewest free throws of anyone in NBA history who's a 24 point per game score or better. He's literally at the bottom. I can't, bro. I mean, that's that's just a blatant lie, and it's why I can't take old, old head serious. Once more, you want me to believe that you have an accurate depiction that happened 40 years ago when you don't even have an accurate depiction of what's happening right now. 
You don't. I don't take you serious. You are a joke. You're a joke. And you're lying just for the sake of lying. But Curry is literally the lowest volume free throw shooter of all volume scores in NBA history. You're a fucking liar. You are a liar. You're lying.